What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to solve a one-step problem or a missing number problem using algebraic equations. Let's go. Okay, we've got these four questions that we're gonna work on. They slowly get a little bit harder and we're gonna try and follow these steps. First, we're gonna isolate the variable and first understand what a variable is. Then we're gonna do the inverse operation before finally simplifying the equation or solving the equation. Okay, so looking at this first question, we have two plus x equals 20. Now, something very important to understand with equations is that we must keep both sides of the equal sign balanced. That is a very important rule of equations. And we must do that at all times, all the way through solving this question. So what we're trying to do with step one is isolate the variable. We want this x to be on its own. So what we have to do is look at what is attached to it. And we have this two. We have a positive two that's connected to my x. So in order to get the x on its own, I need to get rid of this two. And the only way to get rid of a positive two is to add a negative two. So I'm going to rewrite my question like this. Negative two or minus two plus two plus x equals 20. But remember what we just said, whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So we added a negative two to this side. I now must add a negative two to this side. So I'll put it here. There we go. Now I can write the next line and it will say negative two plus two. So this part here is actually just gonna cancel itself out and become a zero. So we don't need it. And I'm just gonna put my X. So X equals 20 minus two. Now I can solve this and say x equals, well, 20 minus two is 18. So x equals 18. Let's plug it back into the equation and see if it works in place of this x. So ready, two plus 18 equals 20. And that is correct, so that works. Let's look at a slightly harder one with a subtraction. Now I have y minus four equals 15. So again, all I'm gonna do is isolate the variable first of all. So I'm gonna have y minus four plus four, we'll get that down to a zero, equals 15. But remember, I've just added this plus four, so I must add a plus four on the other side as well. So 15 plus four. That way I'm keeping my equation balanced. That's all we've got to think about, making sure that our equation is always balanced. Now I can move to step three, look at simplifying my equation or solving it and I can have y, I don't need any of my fours anymore because my negative four cancels out my plus four. So y equals 15 plus four. I'll solve this part here now and write y equals 19. Let's check it by reinserting our value into our original equation as y. So I'm gonna start with 19, subtract four equals 15. Give myself another tick. Okay, let's get a little harder then now. Let's have a look at what this equation means. So now I have 16 equals 4n. And now this part here is a little funny to look at because there's no obvious operation sign. Well, something that we need to understand in algebra, when we have a letter and a number next to each other like this, it is telling us to multiply. So when you see expressions like this without an obvious operation, we have to multiply. So I could rewrite this as 16 equals 4 times n. So I'm trying to isolate the variable by doing the inverse operation or canceling out what's connected to my variable. And now the connection to my variable is this four times. Okay, so what's the opposite to times? That's right, division. So I'm gonna use division now and I'm gonna write 16 divided by four equals four n over four. So I added a divide four on both sides. What does that do to my equation? Well, I can put my first part, 16 over four equals, so now my four times n, we can start by my dividing by four, so I'm equaling n, so 16 over four equals n, 16 divided by four is four, so four equals n, or n equals four. Let's substitute it back in and see if we get the right answer then, so 16, equals four times four. Four times four is 16, give ourselves a tick. Let's look at our hardest one then. We have r divided by two equals four. 
So again, I'm trying to isolate the variable, get it on its own. At the moment, my variable is connected to this divide by two. So if I want to get rid of a division on one side, I'm gonna to have to, that's right, multiply on that side as well. So let's do it. R uh, divided by two times two equals four. But I can't just leave my four like that, can I? Because I've added a times two on this side, so I must add my times two on this side. Now let's do my next line of the equation, R. Uh, and now my divide two is canceled out by my times two, so I can just keep it as R. R equals four times two, and four times two is eight. R equals eight. Let's check it by substituting the value of eight in for R in my equation, and eight divided by two equals four. Yes, it is. Give myself a big tick. So there you go. That is everything you need to know about one-step equations or missing number equations. Let's look at some things to remember. First, we're gonna isolate the variable. We want that variable on its own. And the way we're gonna do that is by getting rid of whatever it's attached to by adding the inverse. But remember, whatever we do on one side has to be done on the other side of my equation to make sure that it's balanced. Then finally, we're just gonna solve the equation to find the value. Okay, here are four questions for you to have a go at. Have a go at answering them and then put your answers in the comment section. I'm gonna mark them all. Good luck. Okay, there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, give me a thumbs up. But for now, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.